In this video, I'm going to show you how to take product photos that'll make people fall in love with your brand. Big bossa, big bossa, big bossa. Now before we get started, I have to give a huge shout out to Yes About Skin. Now I don't know if I even pronounced that right, but it's Y-S-S-A About Skin on TikTok. She's so dope and she does all these tutorials on how to take amazing product photos if you do beauty products or just any, honestly just any type of little product. And I saw all of these dope props that she was using. and. Um, some of the trays and stuff that she was using so I gathered a bunch of supplies that I could use for these photos because of her so she's the inspo now let's get into the tutorial I just want to say a quick disclaimer before you begin watching this video although I'm using a DSLR you can actually use any kind of camera you can use your iPhone or whatever and all of these tricks will still apply so just know that you do not need to have any fancy camera to take these kind of photos the first thing that I had to do was go on Pinterest though and just kind of map out what kind of vibe I was going for what kind of shots I wanted to get so as you can see I had a few things on here with like antique trays so that was something I bought and then I also had some photos with wire baskets and mirrors and so I just wanted to incorporate a lot of texture so these are some of the props that I'm gonna use today. I just wanted to show y'all really quick. Um, one is actually gonna be my comforter and I'll show y'all how I'm gonna do that in a second. But this is a tray, this is another tray. Both of these are from Amazon. I'm gonna link everything in the description box, but you guys, please don't just use these because I'm using them. Use what's gonna resonate with your customers, okay? Um, now, if you have like a similar audience and you want to resonate with the same people, that's fine. Then you can use these things, but Anyways, so this is like pompous grass. I got this locally, but I believe she ships. So I'm gonna, um, and she has really great prices. So I'm gonna link them below. Then these two trays, like I said, are from Amazon. These earrings are from Sheen. This, I can't remember where I got this from. Um, this tray is a, a tray from the Dollar Tree, but I'll see if I can find some more somewhere and link it. And then these are scrunchies. Um, I just got these as a gift, but I will find some and link them below, okay? And then I'm also gonna show you the setup that I have for my photos. After I bought those trays, the next thing that I needed to do was actually pick up some supplies for the background. So I went straight to Home Depot because I knew that I wanted to DIY this just so I could show you guys an affordable way to do it. There are also adhesive um, strips of tiles and backsplashes and all kinds of stuff that are already finished that you can use but this is just how I wanted to do it so you could see a cheaper way to do it so as you can see here I bought sheets of tile these can be used in your shower or as backsplashes in your kitchen whatever and I just got a little tile cutter now this is not a very precise tile cutter but I just used it to um, cut the tiles in half and then I used two pieces of plywood. Measurements are one by two, like one foot by two feet. So basically all I did was after I mapped out how I wanted to position all of the tiles, I went on and mixed up this grout. And this grout was super easy to mix up. You just add water and um, I will link all of this stuff in the description box if you wanna make it or if you wanna use the adhesive ones that I found that are already finished on Amazon. This one is just a fraction of the price but the ones on Amazon are way faster. I just went on and put this grout on here and I spread it out and I started sticking all of the tiles on there. Then I went back and filled in all of the holes in, e in between each tile. And I love these sheets because they already came stuck together. So it just made it really convenient. And then once you're done filling it in, you actually have to wash it off with water, like a paper towel with water on it so that you can get all of that extra gunk off and then you let it dry so you do it before you let it dry and then this is how it turned out it turned out pretty good so now what i'm doing is showing you how i'm using this background to take pictures um so even though it looks ridiculous as you can see up close when you're actually taking the photos you can't even tell about, like how messy it looks uh, because you're going to be kind of focused inward on the actual product itself now another thing i want to point out that I'm doing is instead of just like if you're taking photos on your phone or if you're taking them on your camera regardless instead of just moving the camera in super close to the product what I'm doing is zooming in because it helps the perception stay um, 
the same and even when you actually just take your actual camera your physical camera and move it closer to the object it doesn't give you the same effect that you're looking for it makes the object um, look a little strange and I actually have done this in the past and didn't even realize that I was causing it to look strange but here's some close-up shots so I actually have a macro lens um, little adapter that I use and I will link it as well in the description box it's literally only like $15 um, but I add it to my Sony camera I have a Sony Alpha 5100 and any if you have any type of Sony you can add this to your camera and it'll turn any lens that you have into a macro lens. A macro lens just means that you can get up close and see all the details in a product. Now really quick, before I actually show you what photos I took, I wanted to let you know that I have a free training that you can go watch after this video and it is going to show you exactly how to sell out so if you're having issues getting sales for your brand or you want to make sure that when you launch it you do really well this is a training that i put together and it's a video and a free um, downloadable guide that gives you every step that you need to take in order to sell out so all you have to do is go to donniebrown.com backslash free to get it and i also have a link in the description all right now back to the photos um, as you can see, I'm just continuing and doing some different backgrounds. So with this one, I'm just putting my product in a basket with other products. And then I am just showing you like how I'm styling it different, but it's still on the same background and it works really, really well. I love it. So I tried some other stuff out. This one I didn't like as much. Is basically me pouring the water onto the product. I realize I need to do it different, so I'm gonna try it again later and report back. Then I moved to a marble background. I just got two really big tiles. I used them as backgrounds, and this clearly with this one, I didn't have to do any arts and crafts. The the tiles just came the way that they needed to come. Um, so I put pompous grass in the back, and then um, a few little accessories, and voila, it was very cute. Now this last one is honestly my favorite. Um, so this one, I honestly didn't intend to use the tray this way. Um, I had honestly found this tray on Amazon like months ago, like back in June, honestly, I want to say, or maybe beginning of July, something like that. But I've been sitting with this tray and I wanted to use it a bit different, but I decided to use it this way just to demonstrate to you guys how you can do some of your product photos. But I definitely will be using this tray in the future, um, especially when we add our new products in. Be cute. This turned out really, really cute. And I'm just sitting it on my comforter and um, the comforter is kind of like filling in the background space. And I like that linen texture. Like that's one of the biggest reasons I bought the comforter in the first place. But that texture goes really well with this antique tray. But as you can see on the camera, I'm using the macro lens adapter thing. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm zooming in because you have to zoom in on your camera manually to a certain point in order for it to focus in and really be a macro lens. So that's what I'm doing and I'm trying to get a really good um, perspective as I'm shooting because when you're using a macro lens, you can really do some cool things as far as the perspective and getting um, certain things in focus and certain things out of focus and bringing more dimension to the photo. You can add things in front of your object that are kind of blurred and things behind your object that are kind of blurred and it'll really turn out really cool. So I just played around for a while and tried different things just so that I could get some really cool shots. But as you can see, this is how I styled it for this photo and it turned out really, really great. Like these are some of my favorites because of the different textures and the different colors and the warmth. Um, it just really came out really, really good. But you can style these so many different ways. And like I said, on that girl's account that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, she has some really good ideas on how you can accessorize your photos. Now, if you guys want to see a part two to this video, you know, with more ideas and if you want me to show you how I'm actually going to shoot this for real, for real, for my brand and how I pick out accessories for my brand, then I would definitely do another video and show you guys that. This was just kind of general. These are just examples to show you guys how to do this yourself.